What's up guys? <clears throat> I know it's been a while, but I'm gonna we're gonna try to get back on track with this thing. This COVID-19 has got everything all jacked up. But um I heard about this a couple years back and um uh, I've never really tried it and now that I've have a little spot where I can try it out, I wanted to see if it works. And I mean it works. So what you do is you take a jar of peanut butter and you cut the bottom off of it. So this is what I got right here. And so you screw the lid on to where you can in here. This was yesterday. Yesterday. Gone. They licked that thing clean. Check that out. They licked that stuff clean. So someone gave me some off-brand, I remember, Hamptons Farms peanut butter. It doesn't matter what you use. I know peanut butter is expensive, so I don't expect anybody to uh, just start running. But So this is what I do. Just kind of cut it up. Same thing. This stuff was expired and ain't gonna be no no harm to these deer um let me see if i can't oh all right i'm gonna put this right here so y'all can see me while that's doing it so i'm gonna unscrew the old lid right you still got the the part has never been opened so then i take it and the, the lid that was already there i'm just gonna screw it right on top of it and that's Go ahead and see if I can't get it. Doing this one-handed is a little more difficult than I thought it would have been. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna screw it all the way in that way. There we go, boom, that's what it's gonna look like. Check it out, boom, they'll come up and start licking on that peanut butter. I'm gonna do a follow-up tomorrow to show you what it is. I have another one right here. And what I'm trying to do is I'm just, I want to see if I can pull some of these deer out. I think the rut's about to kick on down here in South Texas. They're starting to respond to some scents that I've been throwing out. Uh, but the bucks, Wednesday was the last time I seen some bucks around here. And they were still all in bachelor groups or grouped up. I wouldn't actually call them bachelor groups. Uh, I did see a really good one by himself. Uh, it was kind of like the ghost of south texas you seen him once for about three seconds and then he was gone by the time i put the binoculars up seeing that he was an actual nice deer he was gone so the deer are starting to move um i'm trying to do other things this one's been here for a while you can see i don't know hit the answer on this they're tearing it up but they've been getting in here and i'm probably going to move this one down too but you can see where they're getting in there and licking all on that peanut butter this one's a little taller so, i mean i don't know if you can see but it's about that tall i mean uh maybe three three and a half four foot off the ground the other one's right there on the ground so um we'll do a follow-up video tomorrow i'll show you guys what it is this is just a little treat thing um what i'm trying to do with this is i'm trying to see about getting deer out of the woods instead of just throwing corn down i have some alfalfa down i mean we got deer droppings all over the place they're here um, uh, yesterday i think we seen 13 does so um i may be needing to shoot me another doe i don't know um but yeah till then you know tip or i guess tip of the week would be uh to that uh, shoot there's a deer out there tip of the week would be you know just try something different it, don't always throw the corn out there throw something new um yesterday with the alfalfa that i threw out i did have a slight hesitation they were kind of skeptical of wanting to take that alfalfa so you know sometimes putting that new stuff out there you may get that something new they they may run out of there but uh you know um i'll, I'll do a follow-up video tomorrow and we'll see what this thing looks like tomorrow but i'm going to be betting that it's going to be lit clean again until then guys you guys shoot straight and Hunt safe. I'll see y'all next time. God bless.